We have a lingering political controversy in far northern Minnesota. Lake of the Woods County Sheriff Gary Fish has refused to issue citations for political sign violations. This in from our news partner, the Northern Light Region newspaper. November 13th has come and gone, and now January 20th has come and gone. Both were dates that political signs, banners, and other material were required to come down in the city of Baudette. The first date comes from the original text uh, from the city's ordinance, which required such material to be down 10 days after the general election. As many as 28 properties were identified by the zoning administrator, Tom Eaton, as being in violation. After receiving official complaints by city residents, the issue came up for discussion at the regular January meeting, at which time the council decided to give the residents until January 20th to take them down or face fines. At Monday evening's city council meeting, Eaton reported that he has now identified five properties that are still in violation and he delivered the necessary paperwork to Sheriff Gary Fish to issue citations to the property owners. It's an enforcement issue now, Eaton told the council, but added, the sheriff has refused to issue citations. Eaton said that Fish's opinion is that the ordinance is in unconstitutional and in violation of free speech. He also said that the city attorney Steve Anderson reached out to Fish to ask what authority the sheriff has to make such a determination. But I think we're at a standstill right now, Eaton said. Uh, well, we need to take care of this, council member Steve Johnson said. It's a larger question of law enforcement now. Are they supposed to enforce all of our ordinances or just the ones they agree with, Eaton said. If they can pick and choose, why do we have ordinances, Johnson asked. The council decided they wanted Anderson and Fish to appear at the next council work session to discuss to resolve the issue. Uh, Mayor Rick Roney agreed to ask them both to attend. No names of any persons being in violation of the ordinance were shared at the meeting, but a drive through town made them easy to spot, and it was noted that as of Tuesday, Mayor Roney still had, uh, dis was still displaying a flag for the Donald Trump 2020 campaign at his home in East Baudette. Eaton did confirm to the Northern Light Region newspaper that any material, including flags and banners that endorsed a candidate, such as Trump 2020 or Biden 2020, would be included with the material that should have been removed by the November 13th and or January 20th dates. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.